Welcome to video 9 of the AdWords Editor video training tutorial course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video, I want to talk about the settings within AdWords Editor. So to begin, I really want to touch on the main things that you need to know as a general user of AdWords Editor. So there are four tabs. We have General, Download, Default Campaign Settings, and HTTP Proxy. The first thing I want to talk about is on the General tab. You can hide all deleted and ended items by checking this box. So on the download, you can actually download deleted and ended campaigns and ad groups. So I want to show you what this does in terms of downloading from AdWords Editor and showing deleted and hidden items. So let's check this so we can download deleted and ended campaigns and ad groups. We'll hit OK. And this means whenever we get recent changes, it's going to download ended and deleted campaigns and ad groups. So one thing I want to do is create an ad group. We'll call it deleted ad group number two. And I already made deleted ad group number one, but it's still active currently. So what I'm going to do is delete this. So that's deleted. It has no ads. It has one keyword here. I'm going to delete this keyword. And for this new ad group that I'm going to delete, I'm going to add a keyword. We'll call it PPC Campaign Generator. Let's just copy some ads into this group. And then we will go to the ad group, give it a default bid, and this ad group is ready to upload. So let's post our changes. We have two new ad group changes, two keyword changes, two text ad changes. So we post those, and you'll notice deleted ad group number one is not showing up. So what we can do is go to Tools, Settings, and uncheck this Hide All Deleted and Ended Items. And since we have downloaded deleted and ended items and campaigns, we should be able to download deleted and ended campaigns and ad groups. So when I enable that, you can see deleted ad group number one appears, and it shows the status is deleted. If you look in the ads, you can see that the ads are deleted as well, but you won't notice the keywords that are deleted from that ad group. The reason is, if you look at the settings, you have an option to hide deleted ended campaigns, deleted ad groups, and deleted ads, but not keywords. So you can't see the keywords you deleted. You'd have to go to the AdWords interface to see all deleted keywords. So what we can do now I'm going to delete ad group number two simply by hitting the delete key. If I post this change, and I change my settings to hide all these, they're actually still in my account. They were downloaded, but they're just not visible. So this one is still enabled. I can go to deleted, post changes, and they simply don't show up when viewing the ad groups. Again, if I want to enable them, I can go here, hit OK, and you can see all deleted ad groups. So that's what the settings do here, and that's a pretty important feature. Another thing is show posting progress bar, and if you uncheck this, it simply means when you get recent changes or post changes, that progress bar shows or doesn't show. Your language, you select your language that you want your display language to be in. It's pretty self-explanatory. This revert, if you enable the control Z keyboard shortcut, you can use this, and sometimes you might not want this enabled. You can check confirm when reverting multiple items. So this is kind of useful. For example, when you want to 
let me let me show you a real life example. We check that, we hit OK. And sometimes when you're going to get recent account changes or open an account, you'll hit open account, but sometimes you're going so quick you might accidentally hit file and then revert because they're so close to each other that it might revert something you have selected here within this view. So one thing you can do is if I select all these, I delete them, and then revert, it asks me, do I want to revert? Am I sure? And then you can check, don't show this message again. So it's a safeguard just in case. And these other things, these are just for enabling diagnostic logging and improving AdWords Editor by using usage tracking. So in general, I don't like to download deleted and ended campaigns and ad groups because it makes downloading slower, plus I don't really need to look at those. The default campaign settings, this is what I want to talk about now. The language you set is English, and what these settings mean is whenever you create a new campaign, it will create a new campaign based on the settings you set here. So let me show you an example. Go to the campaigns tab. We will add a new CPC campaign. And you can see the search network defaults were Google and search network. The display network settings were relevant pages across the entire network. When you go to tools and settings and the default campaign settings tab, you can see that's what we set as our default whenever we make a new campaign. So what I like to do in general, since I, I target the search network a lot, is change that to none and keep everything else the same. So now when I create a new campaign, you'll notice that this campaign created none for the display network. Whereas this first campaign I created targeted relevant pages across the entire network. So that's a pretty useful setting when you create a lot of new campaigns. And I'm not going to go into the details about connecting through an HTTP proxy. Um, if you want more information you can just look at Google for that. So those are the settings within AdWords Editor. So stay tuned for the next AdWords Editor training video. Thanks.